This is a meeting of the Township Committee, April 19, 2021. The notice requirements provided for in the Open Public Meetings Act have been satisfied. Notice of this meeting was properly given by transmission to the Star Ledger, Independent, and the Two Grid Times, and by posting at the Middletown Township Municipal Building and filing with the Clerk on January 7, 2021. Committeeman Clark. Here. Committeeman Sedembrino. Here. Committeewoman Snell. Here. Deputy Mayor Highbell. Here. Mayor Perry. Here. Please rise and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Township is holding this meeting pursuant to the rules established by the Global Public Meeting Act. For the holding of the virtual public meetings during the declared state of emergency, the meeting is being broadcast live for way, by way of WebEx platform that allows members of the public to participate through their computer or telephone. Written public comments may also be submitted through the clerk's office at One Kings Highway, Middletown, New Jersey, 07748, or town clerk at middletownnj.org, but will only be read into the record if received before 9 a.m. the day of the meeting. If you wish to be heard when public comments are permitted for the hearing, an ordinance or during the general public comment portion of the meeting, please use the raise your hand function on the WebEx platform and I will call upon you one at a time. For those dialed in via phone only, I will open the floor to the phone comments during the public comment sections as well. You will be asked to state your name and address for the record and observe a time limit of five minutes unless the comments are part of an ordinance hearing. For more information on this process, please contact the township clerk at town clerk at MJ, uh, middletownnj.org. At this time, I'd like to ask for a moment of silence to honor the troops serving worldwide defending our constitutions, freedoms, and way of life. Thank you. First item on tonight's agenda, we have certificates of appreciation and proclamation. Our first proclamation and, and certificate is for the Distinguished Citizen of the Year presentation honoring A. Bloomberg. At this time, I'd like to invite Mr. Rupert to the floor. Well, good evening, everybody. It's wonderful to see so many faces in this room, faces that uh, I've come, come to meet along the way, but really to honor an incredible man, right, it's sitting right next to me. And, and it's really a, a privilege to call a, my friend, uh, and he's been a tremendous colleague, uh, somebody that I've uh, not only grown to admire and, and look for uh, advice and counsel, but, but uh, an incredible friend. And for that, Abe, I'll be eternally grateful for everything that you've done for me and for everybody up, up here on this, uh, on this dais and for everybody in this room. I mean, I look around and I see family and I see friends uh, you know, I, I saw Mark and, and Stephanie were uh, yeah, uh, no but from No Limits Cafe, right, to lunch break. I saw Glenn Love on there. Uh, the impact of you, of Linda, and, and everyone here is uh, means more to us, I think, than, than you both will ever know. And, you know, I called you to, to tell you. And the day before was uh, the day where all of the uh, NFL um, former players were all told that they were being inducted into Canton. And I, and I told Dave, I said, I can't offer you, I can't offer you that. Uh, but what I do want to let you know is that the Township Committee has decided to honor you as our 2021 Distinguished Citizen of the Year. And Abe, I'm just going to reach behind you right here and I'm gonna read for just one second because you got a, a mighty long list of accomplishments here my friend and uh, but most importantly Linda is up front I can tell you that okay the, 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 the real the real brains of the operation you got right? That right yeah so this says the township of Middletown the township committee honors Mr. Abe Littenberg distinguished citizen of the year in recognition of supporting small business and beyond. This prestigious award is hereby bestowed upon Abe Littenberg, 
for being a philanthropic community leader and ardent supporter of Middletown businesses, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. This past year has thrown many small business owners and residents into challenging economic situations. And Abe has made it his mission to help others get back on their feet again. Abe Littenberg is an effective, efficient, and compassionate business leader who has spent countless hours helping other businesses, business owners navigate this pandemic, as well as help facilitate a COVID-19 economic re recovery plan. He was able to execute this all while ensuring his own Middletown companies, Gluten Plans, Frozen Dough, and A Child's Place, a school he owns with his wife, Linda, could adapt to the pandemic and continue to thrive. As chairman of Middletown's Economic Development Committee, Abe supported the township's Takeout Thursday initiative and small business recovery efforts. With the help of the MEDC and the Lincroft Village Green Association board members, Abe created a database of local restaurants to provide an easy way for community members to order meals from their favorite establishments during the lockdown period. As a partner of Gluten Plans, a facility that produces frozen dough for local pharmacies and uh, super pharmacies, okay. supermarkets, and nationally for Jersey Mice, Abe has also worked with the Middletown Social Services and local food banks to donate bread to those struggling with financial burdens. Abe and, Win and Linda Littenberg have been also been recognized for their philanthropic efforts by lunch break, and Abe will be accepting the Eastern Monmouth Chamber of Commerce Corporate Good Neighbor Spinnaker on behalf of Gluten Plans in June. The Middletown Township Committee is honored to have this opportunity to recognize my friend, Mr. Abe Littenberg, for his distinguished service and dedicated entrepreneurial and community-minded spirit, his personal and passion and commitment to bettering the lives of those around him is admired and appreciated. And we thank Abe Littenberg for consistently, consistently donating his time, energy, and resources to those who are in need and who need it most. Wow. We are incredibly fortunate to call him Middletown's own, signed on this day by Mayor Tony Perry. My friend, thank you. Thank you. Now the cool stuff. <laughs> Abe, on behalf of the Township Committee, I'm honored to present this key to the city to you, the Middletown Township key. With wow. this along, it opens a couple doors, but not the front door, okay? The new town hall, though, come on in anytime. All right? And obviously, this plaque that states, Distinguished Citizen Award presented to Abe Littenberg in recognition of your admirable community service and unwavering support of Middletown's businesses and beyond this April 19th, 2021. Tony, thank you so much. Congratulations, my friend. I, I, I am overwhelmed. I mean, this is uh, such an honor. And uh, I, I want to thank you, Tony, and, and the Township Committee. And uh, yeah, normally these things end with, and last but not least, but I want to start with, first and foremost, my wife, Linda. Every day, she endeavors to make me the best that I can do. And uh, I, I don't think that I could have done half the things in as uh, dedicated and uh, uh, successful without her. I want to thank all my friends and family. I want to thank all the people that uh, I associate with uh, through the lunch break. Gwen, that's you, and uh, Josh, and Jill, and everyone else. Uh, 
you mentioned my friends at uh, Melvin's Cafe, Mark and Stephanie. Um, it's, it's the uh, Charles Play School, Zach Klaus, Eleni's absolute foundation of, of that organization and their success in running summer camp in person last year, again this year, running school all year long in person. Um, I did, I'm just blessed to be surrounded by so many right-minded, uh, wonderful people. And uh, all I can say is I'm very, very grateful. And thank you all for coming and thank you for attending virtually. Uh, I just want to mention my, my children, my grandchildren, uh, my friends, uh, the Jirakis and uh, Kathy and, and just everyone who's here. I just am so grateful we were able to attend, and I, again, I want to thank the, uh, you, Tony, and the Township uh, Committee for uh, selecting me for this award. Thank you so much. There's no, there's no person that more quickly answers the phone and immediately takes up a task than Abe Lindenberg. And like I said, started off, everyone up here is blessed to know you, blessed to be able to call you a friend. And Abe Lindenberg, you are so more than deserving of this honor. And it's been my honor to be able to, to help bring that to life. And thanks to the Township Committee, Abe, Linda, thank you for all that you do. Seriously. You want to take a picture of it? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Linda. All right, Linda, come on up. I think she can each hold something. Hold that in case he gets out of line, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, she, she made a weapon at it. <laughs> Frank Weber's not here, so I don't know what's going on. Thank you so much. Folks, we're going to go, uh, we're going to run through a, just a few more proclamations and then we're going to take a uh, three minute recess and let the festivities for you begin. Just make sure you buy, pick up the bill at the end of the night, okay? <laughs> The rest of the proclamations on tonight's agenda are for the record only. A proclamation recognizing National Library Week, April 4th through 10th, 2021, in the Township of Middletown. A proclamation recognizing April 2021 as National Volunteer Month in the Township of Middletown. A proclamation recognizing National Small Business Week, May 2nd through 8th, 2021. A proclamation recognizing Municipal Clerks Week, May 2nd through the 8th, 2021. A proclamation recognizing May 9th through the 15th, 2021, as Police Week in the Township of Middletown. A proclamation um, May 2021 as uh, Mental Health Awareness Month in the Township of Middletown. And a proclamation recognizing May 2021 as Older Americans Month in the Township of Middletown. This time we'll take a three minute recess. Motion to take a three minute recess. Second. Oh, all in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody, for attending very much. I'm going to resume the agenda at this time. We have public hearing for proposed ordinances 2021-3306, an ordinance amending Chapter 465 of the Code of the Township of Middletown to address parking and traffic regulations near Ideal Beach. Any member of the public wishing to make a public comment uh, regarding the proposed ordinance, um, you can use the raised hand feature. Howie, so. you're good with it, buddy? <laughs> Seeing no member of the public stepping forward, Move to close the public portion and approve. Seconded. 
Minnie Clark. Yes. Yeah. Minnie Minnie Yes. Minnie Snow. Yes. Deputy Mayor Highback. Yes. Mayor Perry. Yes, for a quick comment. Uh, I just want to thank the Ideal Beach Community Association. Uh, Howie, thank you, my friend. Uh, this is a uh, an ordinance that's going to significantly help the residents of the Ideal Beach community uh, in terms of uh, maneuverability and, and prevent preventing any type of incidents that are occurring. So I want to thank the Ideal Beach Community Association. I want to thank the residents of Ideal Beach who came out to our our uh, off-site location meeting that we had um, uh, last week, I guess, and uh, and I want to thank the uh, last Tuesday. Uh, so I want to thank everyone that attended there and uh, and thank them again for their participation. My vote is yes. Motion carries past this ordinance on second and final reading. Our next ordinance for uh, public hearing 2021-3307, an ordinance of the voter approved increase to the, to the annual collection rate of the Middletown Open Space Recreation Floodplain Protection Farmland and Historic Preservation Trust Fund. Any member of the public wishing to speak on public ordinance number 2021-3307, an ordinance Im implementing the voter approved increase to the annual collection rate of the Middletown Open Space Recreation Floodplain Protection Farmland and Historic Preservation Trust Fund. You can use the raised hand feature. This is the Open Space Trust Fund initiative that was approved by the voters. Howie? Okay. <laughs> Seeing no member of the public stepping forward, move to close the public portion and approve. Second. <clears throat> Miniman Clark. Yes. Miniman Santa Marina. Yes. Miniman Snow. Yes. Deputy Mayor Highbell. Yes. Mayor Perry. Yes, just with a quick comment again, I'm sorry. Um, I want to thank, this has been a, a process that has uh, gone on for several months. I want to thank the 67% of the voters who approved this initiative, who stood very tall and made a very clear statement that the, the residents here in Middletown want to continue to preserve the 6,000 acres of open space that we already have and add to that. And I want to thank them and this ordinance. And I want to thank this township committee for standing up and doing what was right. So my vote is yes. Uh, motion carries to pass this ordinance on second and final hearing. <laughs> Am I throwing you off or no? <laughs> I had them before too, just so you know. 2021-3308, uh, an ordinance amending section 240-18, governing fee schedule for towing operators in the township of Middletown. Any member of the public wishing to speak on public ordinance number 2021-3308, an ordinance amending section 240-18, the governing fee schedule for towing operators in the township of Middletown. You can use the raised hand feature. Howie? Okay. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> joining us virtually? <clears throat> Seeing no member of the public stepping forward, move to close the public portion and approve. Second. Minnie Clark. Yes. Minnie Santa Marina. Yes. Minnie Women Snow. Yes. Deputy Mayor Hypo. Yes. Mayor Perry. Yes, with a comment. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Motion carries past this ordinance in the second. At this time, I'd like to ask the Township Committee to adopt a consent agenda. Hang on, hang on, Committee. We've got 3309, the salary ordinance. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I was hidden. <laughs> um, to, uh, at this time, we have Ordinance 2021 3309, the 2021 salary ordinance for public. Any member of the public wishing to make a public comment on public ordinance number 2021 3309, the 2021 salary ordinance? You can use the raised hand feature on. How he's indicating no. Any member of the public joining us virtually? Seeing no members of the public stepping forward, move to close the public portion and approve. Second. Clark. Yes. Many women snap. Yes. Deputy Mayor Hypo. Yes. Mayor Perry. Yes. Motion carries to have passed this ordinance on second and final reading. At this time, we have a consent agenda, which would include resolutions 21 124. Through resolution 21-135, including bingo and rental applications. Motion to approve consent agenda. Second. Minimum Clark. Yes. Minimum Santa Brino. Yes. Minimum Women Snow. Yes. Deputy Mayor Highbell. Yes. Mayor Curry. Yes. Motion carries to adopt consent agenda. At this time, we have the Township Committee acting as the ABC issuing authority. 
We have resolution 21 136, a resolution authorizing a place to place transfer, amending resolution 21 92 for Saker Enterprise Company Inc. for license number 1331 44 008. Motion to approve. Second. Minimum Clark. Yes. Minimum Minnesota Brino. Yes. Minimum Snell. Yes. yes. Deputy Mayor Highbell. Yes. Mayor Perry. Yes. Motion carries to adopt resolution 21 136. This time we have Township Committee comments. Mayor Clark. Uh, first, uh, I'd just like to congr congratulate Abe. Uh, pretty amazing things he's done around town. I'm new to this committee, so I'm just getting to learn uh, how much talent we have in this town uh, you know, outside of the fire department, which was my focus for a long time. And uh, Abe is certainly one of those all stars, so congratulations. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to thank the Ideal Beach Community Association for having us out the other day. It was my first uh, big off-campus uh, uh, operation, and uh, it was great to see so many people involved uh, in that community. I have a lot of friends that live over in that area, and they, you know, they all have those concerns. And it was great to hear everybody talk. It was also great to see the, the mayor and his and the team that he put together, um, you know, execute the plan that they discussed last year. So um, it's neat to be part of the machine now. And, they get to see how it works from both sides. Um, I was also part of a drill on Sunday with the fire department. I'm one of the coordinators for our LDH strike team. We had a large scale drill out at Buffalo Ferry Terminal on Sunday morning. Um, I'm sure the mayor, deputy mayor, will touch on it a little more, but uh, great job, guys and gals, as always. And uh, last but not least, um, we have a brick initiative going on right now and, and other assorted things for the 9-11 uh, Memorial Foundation. Uh, if anybody is looking to buy bricks, there's websites, uh, there's a Facebook page, there is uh, online ordering available, anything you need, contact, the, uh, contact us and uh, or go on Facebook and you can find it. Yep, we've got the, <laughs> the PD has patches for sale, it's kind of probably hard to see on the video, but um, we have all sorts of neat initiatives. Uh, Committee Woman Snell is heading up that initiative and I'm sure she'll talk about it a little more. That's all I got. Thank you, Committee Minimum Sam Brady. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, one, one item, I have one item for this evening, and I'm going to reveal this to everyone here and everyone in the audience. Before tonight's meeting, the mayor made me a bet. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to bet you tonight that more than 25 people are going to be in the audience. I thought for a moment, I took a look at the agenda, and I saw Abe Littenberg was on for Citizen of the Year. I didn't take the best. <laughs> so I want to congratulate you. The easiest two dollars I've ever won. It would have been. So uh, Abe's a great gentleman, a great asset to the community of Middletown. Uh, we're lucky to have him. We're lucky to have his businesses in town, his expertise, and his leadership uh, in the, in the township of Middletown. It certainly continues to make Middletown the, one of the greatest place places to live, work, and raise a family. So to that, um, Abe. Uh, uh, Congratulations on your Citizen of the Year uh, this evening, and uh, many more to come. And that's all I have for this evening, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Committee Woman Snell. Thank you, Mayor. And I, too, would like to congratulate Abe. I've known Abe for decades, and I really don't know of a more generous and compassionate person. And I think Middletown is very lucky to have him. So congratulations to Abe. Uh, secondly, I'm thrilled to hear that our kids are going to be back in school full time as of May 10th. Um, I hope that continues and I hope to see them all back on May 10th. I know they probably are all looking forward to it, to see their friends and at least get back to something a little bit normal for our kids who have really suffered through this pandemic. Um, I will update everybody on our fundraising campaign for the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 ceremony. Um, Countdown is on for purchasing a brick because we need to have time to lay them on the walkway. So um, if you haven't purchased one yet, feel free to go to the website, which I'll say at the end, um, and do it quickly. Time is running out on that. Uh, the lawn signs have become very popular and are selling very quickly. Uh, you'll be notified by email when to pick them up here at Town Hall. And we're now working on personalized commemorative banners, and you'll be able to keep them um, after they're hanging along Kings Highway and Church Street. So um, feel free to uh, order one of them as well. 
And for these and other sponsorships, you can go to the website, which is www.middletownremembers.com or .org. We have both. So um, feel free to go online and order. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She just corrected me. Thank you, Tara. www.middletownremembers911.com or .org. Um, but there's plenty of sponsorships and um, different possibilities for donations anybody can make. So feel free to go on and uh, do your thing. So I think that's all, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Committee Woman Snell. Deputy Mayor. We almost had him tonight, Heidi. I slipped a different agenda in there for him. <laughs> we put last, last meeting's agenda in front of me, so I'm looking at it. I'm like, this is not right. <laughs> I have the same one. <laughs> so I just want to say congratulations to Abe. I, I got the benefit to work with him this year. Uh, fabulous job. Uh, what a worker. So thank you, Abe. I know you're, you're, you're gone here now, but thank you very much. I also want to make sure uh, we didn't do a last meeting. I wanted to thank Congressman Smith and Commissioner uh, Director uh, Tom Arnone in uh, setting, setting up an amazing meeting with the Coast Guard to uh, talk about the Oceanic Bridge, and hopefully we can come to uh, some kind of conclusion with that, uh, with the you know potential height issues on that. So thank you everyone involved in that. Uh, I want to thank Chief Friedman for having us out there on uh, Sunday. It's, uh, it's really, uh, I always say a lot about the fire department, but there's 50 plus uh, volunteers out there. I know it's volunteer uh, month here, just, just amazing. With everything going on, there's 50 people out there working for three, four hours, packing up, how much uh, hose there, Ryan? Uh, we put out 4,000 4, feet. 4,000 feet of hose. If anyone knows how long that takes, but that's every bit of uh, two to three hours of work just to clean it up. But uh, I heard they got some new handy dandy tool that uh, works a lot better. So, but uh, thank you, Chief Friedman, and uh, your leadership there. So that's all I have, Mayor. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Appreciate the humor of sticking last meeting's agenda in my face. So I look. Try and look like an idiot up here. <laughs> um, Abe Wittenberg, uh, I, I've said uh, enough. Uh, the, the man is, is just a, an incredible asset to Middletown, uh, and, and we're so grateful for him. Howie, I want to thank you, man. Um, our, our lone, uh, our, our lone warrior out there. So, um, but uh, Abe Wittenberg is an incredible asset to Middletown and an incredible asset to the business community. Uh, I, I was fortunate enough to win the Spinnaker Award last year, and uh, yeah, last year, and um, and to see him now uh, earn earn the Good Neighbor Award is, is something to be incredibly proud of, and I look forward to celebrating with him in June. Um, uh, the Middletown Open Space Initiative. I, I've talked. Uh, more about this than, than I think any other subject uh, before, um, but it's something that, that I'm incredibly proud of, and I know this township committee is incredibly proud of, and the 67% of people um, who voted in favor of this, this is now uh, now the, the, the official uh, policy of the town. It, it is set into stone, and, um, and we're just grateful that we're, we're going to have this opportunity to preserve more open space, to, to make the necessary upgrades to our recreational facilities uh, and our historic farmlands all across town. Uh, so uh, once again, this is the last time, but thank you to the Township Committee for, for stepping up and, uh, and, and making that a possibility. Um, uh, again, Ideal Beach Community, thank you very much for your efforts. Um, you know, Holly and, and Holly Morgan and all her officers and, and every, all the residents that turned out um, the other night to um, hear the plans that the Township Committee was taking forward and uh, to, to ensure uh, that safety, security, uh, and the overall quality of life and well-being for all the residents that live out there um, was known to them that, that it is a top priority for myself and for this township committee. So I want to thank them uh, all very much. I, I want to, um, you know, we proclaimed tonight um, mental health, uh, one of the awareness months was mental health awareness month. And uh, I was reached out to by Nicole Valenti, who, who lives in Lincroft, 
um, and we invited her here tonight, but she's actually a student uh, at Montclair State. She's a graduate student um, and uh, she had class, unfortunately, so she couldn't make it here tonight, um, but she's working towards her master's degree in counseling. And uh, I wanna thank her for, for uh, reaching out to me, uh, to my office, um, to raise awareness um, for mental health. You know, all of us, every single person in this room, every single person joining us um, has uh, gone through a lot uh, over these last 15 or so months. And um, it, it's, uh, it's incredibly important for all of us to take a pause and take a deep breath and to ensure that our loved ones, our friends, our family are all doing okay, knowing the restrictions that are being placed on us. But uh, I'm hopeful that those restrictions are gonna come to uh, an end soon now that vaccines have become available to anyone that, that wishes to receive them. So um, Chief Friedman, Chief Chenoweth, um, uh, Chief Kane, uh, and Chief Falsinetti, um, I wanna thank them, everybody, all the, the 50 volunteers that came out for our LDH drill at the uh, Belford Ferry Terminal yesterday. Uh, incredibly important um, and so impressive and so well known. And I know the two gentlemen to my right can speak better uh, of this than I can, but it says something when the county fire marshal comes out and watches us do our work um, because the Middletown Fire Department has perfected it and continues, knows that there's constantly things that we can do to improve and get better. Equipment changes, community had their brand new fire truck out there yesterday. Um, and and the, the changes that occur just from that, um, the, the system itself that they were teaching me about, um, uh, you know, it, it's constantly changing as our apparatus gets upgraded and our equipment gets upgraded. Um, so to, to watch them in action uh, after last year, I think we only had one LDH drill um, to, to be back out there and, and see them back at, at what they do best and showing the county fire marshal how, how we do it here in Middletown is, is uh, much appreciated and great to see. So um, I think I'm done. Uh, with that being said, <laughs> is that fast enough for you, Rick? It was pretty good. Okay. Uh, with that being said, I'll open it up for Township Committee uh, for public comment. Um, uh, again, you can use the raised hand feature uh, if you'd like to make a public comment, um, Heidi will unmute your line if you use that raised hand feature, which is on, along the right hand side of your screen. Uh, but before I go to the virtual and let anybody that would like to speak uh, virtually, Howard, you got anything, buddy? Two minutes. Come on down. How amazing is it that somebody's walking towards the, uh, isn't that nice? Alan Morris, 61 Ocean Avenue, North Middletown, trustee for the Ideal Beach Community Association. Now, they may be surprised I didn't know I was showing up here, but I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come over and do what you did for the Ideal Beach community. Uh, last year was a bit horrific, especially down on Bayside Parkway. A lot of people were uh, concerned about that. So with the... Uh, with you guys, this is why I didn't want to get out. <laughs> uh, starting uh, early to mark the curbs and to show the people what you're going to do, uh, uh, it shows us over there that you guys are really helping us. And we want, I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart because it means a lot to me. I'm there 43 years and I just, uh, I appreciate what you guys are doing. For us. So Thanks. that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate thank all you. your leadership over there. Any other member of the public wishing to make a public comment, you can use the raised hand feature. We do have one phone. It's Kristen. It's my Kristen. No. Tara Forming. Would you like to make a comment? Uh, yes, hi, uh, Tara Fleming, 49 Brandywine Way. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you to, to the committee, as usual, for their service to the community. Um, I just had a question about this um, on the agenda about 
I, I didn't understand what it what it means about resolution rejecting proposals about marketing of antifreeze and so forth. What what is that all about? It, it I mean it, I mean one of you can talk if you if you want to go, but it's a, for bid proposals we have the ability to reject um, a, a, any uh, proposals that come in, um, and uh, I think Ted is on the line. If Ted wants to talk. Do you want to go? Go ahead. So this is the township at its um, recycling convenience centers, which is Canes Lane, uh, for this type of material, accepts um, waste materials, waste oils, things of that nature. And, and so we have to either pay to, to dispose of this material, but there's also actually a marketplace for this material to try to sell it and get some consideration for it. So the township sought bids um, to see you know if there was any marketplace for these materials some of the materials there was a marketplace for some there was not uh, the market for a lot of recyclable materials right now is not excellent so the um, you know the way in which the township will dispose of this material you know will be determined later either through the marketplace or the township delivering it itself um, so these were you know just some bids for those certain materials and products that are collected for recycling purposes that were rejected. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks, Tara. Any other member of the public wishing to make a public comment? Seeing no other member of the public stepping forward, move to close the public portion and approve and, and adjourn. All seconded. Mr. Clark. Yes. Raymond Sanabrino. Yes. Mini Woman Snow. Yes. Deputy Mayor Highbell. Yes. Mayor Perry. Yes. A motion carries to adjourn. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.